Rafa Nadal versus Alex Dimonor. It's a blockbuster second round matchup for the Madrid Open for 2024. And it's a rematch of what we saw last week in Barcelona. Nadal entered the tournament as the number 512 in the world. The win-loss record of three wins, two losses, which consists of two matches on clay. Those were both last week in Barcelona. He won his first match against Kabali, but then ended up losing to Dimonor in that second round. His best result was at the start of the year in his comeback in Brisbane. He made the quarterfinals there, losing to Thompson in a close three-setter where he had match points. So what could have been for Rafa in that event? His best win was against Kabali last week, the number 62 in the world at the time. And his worst loss still is that Thompson lost at the start of the year in that Brisbane quarterfinal. He was number 55 in the world at the time. His form isn't super relevant, of course, because he hasn't played as much as we hoped he would in this season. But he has been stringing a couple of wins together here and there. And of course, he is familiar with the guy that he's playing after what happened last week. Diminor enters the tournament as number 11 in the world with a win-loss record of 23 wins and 8 losses with 6 of those matches being on clay having a 4-2 win-loss record on the clay courts so far this year. His best result was in Acapulco an ATP 500 event where he beat Casper Ruud in the final 6-4, 6-4. That was back in February but his best win came at the start of the year when he beat Novak Djokovic in the United Cup, the first Australian to beat Djokovic in Australia as well. His worst loss was against Mickelson in Los Cabos, the number 74 in the world at the time. And his form's been really good lately, but in the last couple of tournaments, despite beating Rafa last week, he did end up losing to Feast in the next round, which was a huge shock, especially coming off the high of beating Nadal on clay, which had never been done by an Australian before. These two guys have played five times before with the head-to-head 3-2 -head in favor of Rafa, but of course, the last match is the only one that really matters in their history because last week, they played in the second round of Barcelona. It was 7-5-6-1. Dimonor got off to a slow start. Rafa had chances in that first set to take it, but once the first set was done, it was all Demon in the second. If Dimonor's going to win this one, he needs to remember what he did last week and also try and get off to a better start. He kind of gave Rafa a little bit of a head start in the first set. Luckily, he was able to claw it back and eventually take it out in straights. But he can't give Rafa a lead this time because I'm sure Rafa over the last week has been figuring out how he lost and not to let that happen again, especially when the draw came out and he saw Demonor was in the way. If Rafa's going to win this one, he has to get off to a good start. He did do that in Barcelona, but unfortunately couldn't get the set once he did get that early lead. He's also playing at home as well, and he did look good in that first match, even though his opponent was a little less experienced, I guess, in Blanche, who was outside the top 1,000, a 16-year-old. So if he's able to get off to a better start here and maybe get the first set, that'll get the crowd involved, and maybe it'll get Demon a little bit scared. I'm so happy we get to see this a week later in the exact same situation in Spain, on clay, Rafa's home, but I have to go with Demon or again. I mean, last week, even though Demon or got off to a slow start, the second set was so one-sided, but I think it's three sets this time. I think Rafa gets a set, but let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this blockbuster.